is a former Saturday Night Live cast member who's here making her network stand-up debut. Please welcome Sashir Zameda. All right, you stopped. Okay. <laughs> I am so excited to be here. I'm really glad Stephen pronounced my name correctly. I mean, of course he would. I just get worried because I'm used to white people mispronouncing my name. <laughs> and I don't want to make it a race thing, but <laughs> numbers are in. <laughs> Studies have shown that the demographic that consistently gets my name wrong are Caucasian. I did a show once and the host was white, and probably still is, and <laughs> she could not get my name for the life of her. She kept saying Shashir or Sahir and moving letters around in my name and attacking it like a Sudoku puzzle. And I was like, it's fine, really. You can call me Sheer if you can't get it. And she looks at me and she goes, can I just call you Jane? <laughs> and I was like, if you want to give me a slave name, you can't do that. Just change someone's name for the convenience. Is this Roots? Are you trying to Toby me? And every time that happens, I want to get so sassy and be like, oh, I'm sorry, my name's too ethnic for you. Sorry you can't fit all that heritage in your little lips. But I don't really have a right to be angry in that regard because my name doesn't come from any African or island culture. It's from Star Trek. <laughs> my parents are Trekkies. <laughs> And they were really into Trekkie culture. My mom found the original script where my name comes from and realized that my parents accidentally misspelled my name. So she showed me the script and she goes, do you want to change the spelling of your name? <laughs> Just for accuracy purposes. And I was like, no, I was 20 years old when she showed that to me. <laughs> it was way too late. And I was like, also, are you trying to Toby me right now? <laughs> but I didn't like it. I didn't like having a name from Star Trek. I really wanted a name that connected me to my culture, like the name of an African country or a tribe or something. But then I got older and I started to realize that I have no need to feel that way because my name does connect me to my culture and it reminds me that I'm part of an even smaller minority, <laughs> black nerds. And our struggle is real. <laughs> I'm excited to let you guys know that I went camping for the first time recently. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is an accomplishment. I'll never do it again. <laughs> My boyfriend is white and he took me to his homeland of Missouri to do this. And we pulled up to the campsite and it was just white people as far as the eye could see. And I don't know what they were doing. I feel like whittling was involved. But I did see one black guy from afar and I kept trying to make eye contact with him. Like, are you okay? Are we gonna be okay? Is this a get out situation? But we got out. Or I did, I didn't see him by the end of the trip. <laughs> and my boyfriend and I were getting ready to go swim in the river. And the way he was getting ready was by putting on prescription sunscreen and long sleeve swim shirt and long swim shorts. And this is all foreign to me because I have melanin. <laughs> so, so I just spray a little sunscreen and go. And it's just further proof to me that White people aren't made for this earth. <laughs> I 
like y'all can't handle outside. <laughs> My boyfriend and I just hit four years of dating. Thank you. Thanks, it's been fun, it's been really fun. And people have told me that it takes a lot of work to keep a relationship healthy and successful. But I feel like I'm doing most of the work <laughs> because I'm fixing him. <laughs> and I don't wanna be one of those girlfriends that's like, I need to change my man, I need to fix him. Cause I love him the way he is, but everything he does is wrong. <laughs> and I need to change him. I like for people to take their shoes off when they enter my home. And he does that for the most part, but sometimes he forgets. And I have all wood floors in my apartment and a big rug in the living room. And one day we were trying to leave and he goes, babe, I have my shoes on, but don't worry. I'm standing on the rug. <laughs> and I was like, what logic are we working with here? <laughs> when he saw the wood floors, did he see lava? <laughs> so I have to fix these things, and I can't tell if I'm fixing him for me or for his next girlfriend. Because <laughs> if we break up and he starts dating someone else, he's gonna take his shoes off at the door, and she's gonna be like, he's so clean. He's so conscientious. No, bitch, that was me. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Her special, Pizza Mind, is available for streaming on Amazon. Seth Shears, the made everybody. We'll be right back.